I'm Dr. Paul Severson. I'd like to speak to you about transoral incisionless fundoplication, or TIF. This is a, a newer procedure that's been introduced because it's purely endoscopic, meaning there's no incisions. It is uh, performed with an endoscope and not laparoscopy. So there are absolutely no surgical procedures in the abdomen whatsoever. In this operation, as seen in the diagram on the right, the top of the stomach, the fundus, is actually folded up and secured around the lower esophageal sphincter muscle to support the reflux barrier. The way that it's fastened is with uh, H fasteners, little plastic uh, fasteners that are placed tr through the wall of the esophagus and through the wall of the stomach, and actually they're quite strong. This simulates the toupee partial fundoplication because it's a 270 degree wrap. This procedure is performed uh, same day. Everybody goes home, the end of the day, uh, we use a general anesthetic in the operating room. The advantages of this is that there is no reported gas bloating after the procedure except perhaps in the first few weeks. Same thing for swallowing. Swallowing difficulties are not described long term only in the first week or two following the procedure. You will be given a progressive liquid diet, which is very important to follow over the first few weeks while it's healing. Now the challenges can be, uh, if, if there's a hiatal hernia, it really can't be used. We do prefer a laparoscopic approach in that case, uh, but we can do very small hiatal hernias with this technique. It can't be used if the GERD complications are advanced. In other words, if there's Barrett's esophagus or severe esophagitis or evidence of destruction of the uh, lower esophageal sphincter mechanism. And the other problem is it's relatively new, so it may not get insurance coverage. If we look at the next slide, this is a pictorial where we can see the cutaway stomach and we can see the device which has been inserted through the mouth and down into the stomach with the endoscope inserted through the middle of the device in order to monitor and perform the procedure. And what we're trying to do here is take a person with GERD who has a fundus that is not up against the lower esophageal sphincter and we're using this device in order to approximate the fundus to the lower esophageal sphincter. In these diagrams, we are able to see that the device, after pulling the fundus down in, fires these little H fasteners. We fire about 20 of them, and here's a picture of what it looks like afterwards. A beautiful nipple-like valve created that stops reflux. This slide demonstrates the longevity and success, long-term success of the procedure. This is a European study uh, with 10-year durability, and we can see with the patients, uh, whether it's the quality of life, the degree of heartburn, or the degree of regurgitation, that after five years, it remains stable for, through seven years and even 10 years. Final thought on TIF is the exciting uh, development in our center of being able to have this, uh, this new tool to be able to repair and fix old Nissen fundal applications and to pay fundal applications that have loosened and reflux may return after uh, weakening of the stomach. But here's the pictures, uh, the one on the left with a failed uh, Nissen. You can see the opening is now loosened uh, here next to the scope. And a TIF procedure has been performed to actually tighten this back up again. No surgery, no revisional operation. And on the right, here, toupee procedure. And again, a beautiful valve that's able to be recreated to give this patient many more years of GERD-free uh, symptoms. This is looking very good. The subjective outcomes show 90% of the people off their medications again, and the side effects don't show any significant uh, swallowing difficulties, bloating, or flatulence. So this is an exciting new development for the future. Thank you for listening, and I hope that this information has been helpful to you.